Joining me now here on the MMA Report, man, it's going to be a part of Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. Looks to go to 6-0 and in his career. Montel Jackson takes on Rico Descula. Montel, I appreciate the time, man. Uh, you know, it was just June of last year uh, uh, making that pro debut. The rise for you has been so fast. As, as you had thought about y- your career when you turned pro, did you ever think it would come this quick? Uh, Not really, man. I was just, just taking the fight at one fight at a time and just looking out there to finish guys and do my best. You know, um, obviously, as I mentioned, everything's going great for you, but what, what drew you to martial arts and, and the fight game? Uh, man, like, uh, like I told, told the uh, story before, man, I, I, I want to wrestle. I want the, mm-hmm. I want to become a Greco wrestler and, you know, make it to, um, make it to the Olympics. But, you know, with wrestling being the limbo, uh, I was kind of like pulled in by my friend Devon. And then I met this guy, Gato. And then, um, from there, I just like, uh, Gato talked me into grappling, doing my first uh, jujitsu tournament. And then from there, after I won, I just signed up and I just got at it. You know, guys talk about the the love for the fight game. Some it comes immediately. Some takes time for you. Where where did, where did it did it take a, a little time for the love to get there, or immediately like, man, I know this is what I want to do. Oh, uh, like at, at first I was kind of like hesitant and stuff because I was like, you know, with the rules and stuff, you know, with the grappling stuff, I was like, man, I I don't know. But then, um, like uh, as as time went on, it was like, oh shit, I'm I'm good at this. I can do this. This ain't nothing. This, this stuff easier than wrestling. Now, what did your family think about when you told them that you were going to be a fighter? Um, uh, I think, I think, I think most of my family didn't didn't really know. I, I, they they didn't really like. I didn't really like tell people how like how good I was or like what I was really doing. So like they would think like, oh, this you know, he a fighter, you know, he training to fight and all that stuff. But they, a lot of people didn't truly know how how good I was and. They, they didn't know like the type of like fire I was, so I don't know. Uh, you know, with uh, you know your 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 entire career, you know, being a kid in, in athletics to now, uh, what do you think is the best attribute you brought to the fight game? You know, um, like when I talk to football players, they'll talk about their athleticism, their footwork. For you, what, what do you think is the best trait that you brought with you before you you acquired all all the skills uh, to be at this level? Oh man, just just being smart. Being um, being able to adapt to anybody in any game plan, you know. Being a smart fighter is something we we always hear about. What what you know? What is your definition of a smart fighter? Be, being able to make adjust, being able to make adjustments on the fly, right then and there. Being able to acclimatize and uh, you know, to really like. How can I say this? Just really, really being able to like mold yourself into their style, their way of fighting, you know? You know, I, I come from the football world, and I think one of the ways I just kind of describe, and I think a lot of fighters you know, view this way, is their fighting style is read and react. You're, you're sitting there, and I mean, you know what you want to do in the fight, but you're, you're, you're just reading your opponent and you're reacting to what he does. Is that almost a, about the best way to describe your fight mentality? Somewhat, yeah, somewhat. But you know, other other times, if if I if I already made the adjustment uh, pretty early, or I got a I got a good read on the guy, then I'll be a little bit a little bit more active, you know. I know everyone's got motivation, no matter what they do, whether they're a, a salesman, they're a guy who interviews fighters, or it's a fighter. What's your biggest motivation? Oh man, I, man. No matter what they say. Oh, I want to be a champion. I want to be the greatest. I want to be famous. All that stuff. That stuff don't pay bills. Championship belts. That stuff collect dust. I'm here to get paid. I'm here to get paid for my services. The it sounds it's gonna sound cliche, but you know my grandpa was right. Never do something you can get paid for for free. So I'm, I'm here to get paid, man. All the other stuff that's just garbage. They blow smoke up people's ass. That's garbage. I'm here to get paid. 
you're a prize fighter. I mean, and I've always said I, I want to see guys make the most money they can. But this is a uh, the biggest opportunity for you here in the Contender Series. Uh, Rico uh, has fought uh, pretty much all of his career in CS. Had a couple fights uh, in Bellator. What's your thoughts uh, of Rico as an opponent? Uh, man, I, I don't know, man. I, I like like I I don't really like watch tape or anything like that. You know, I, I don't know what to say other than you know. It's gonna be a good fight. Is there is is it you know? And I hear fighters say, "Hey, I don't watch tape." And, and it seems more times than they say, "Look, I, I let my coaches handle that, and then let the coaches uh, relay that information to you." Is that why um, you don't you just let your coaches handle that stuff so you can worry about yourself? Uh, it, it for me, it, it really it really don't matter. You know, like no 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 matter what you what you uh, think you're preparing for, it's never gonna be the same. So uh, I, I just, you know, whatever ideas they have or whatever, they can, you know, incorporate that in training or whatever or the somewhat game plan. But I, I really I really don't care for that stuff, man. I'm going out there to fight. Heading into this matchup, what, what would you want the fans that are going to tune in to your fight to know about you uh, heading into the fight? Oh, man, I'm, 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 I'm coming to destruct and destroy. That's the best way I can sum it up for him. You know, when you, when you think about, um, you know, destroy, you know, and, and, and I know visualization is a big part of this fight game. How, how do you see that, that ultimate destroy, you know, taking place in this fight? Man, I'm trying to inflict as much pain as possible. Uh, you know, I was also told that you're you're around Zach Otto, of course. You know, Zach in, in the UFC. What what's what has been your takeaways from him about you know where he has gotten and, and maybe some things that that you've noticed some traits about him that you, you knew you needed to obtain to get to this level. Oh man, easy man. Like I, I you got to outwork him. You, you got you got you you, you got to outwork him. You know, that that's, that's like. The, the the biggest thing I saw, you know, you you gotta outwork them. If you can't go through them, you gotta move around them. But you gotta outwork them. Now, when you are, you know, not in the training room, you're not preparing for a fight. What do you like to do just to kind of hang back and just chill to get your mind off the fight game? Oh man, you know, I, I do a little bit of everything, man. I read books. I watch documentaries. Uh, I go out to restaurants, hang out with the little kids, go shoot some hoop in my old, go shoot hoops or play cans in my old neighborhood. You know, a little bit of everything, man. Any uh, particular book you're reading right now, maybe to you know get you mentally ready for uh, you know the next fight? Oh man, I, I, I read I read a lot of autobiographies, so I don't know whichever ones you know I'm reading. It catch my eye. I read that. You know. But it ain't nothing real particular. And of course, everyone's going to be able to see your fight here June June the twelfth, Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. Of course, live on UFC Fight Pass. See Montel take on Rico Desculo. Montel, as always, I appreciate time and let everyone know where they can follow you out on social media. Uh, you can find me at uh, Montel Quick Jackson on um, Facebook, Montel Quick Jackson on Instagram, and Montello one thirty five on Twitter. Shout out to the, shout out to Iridium. Shout out to Virus. Shout out to Pura Vida. Shout out to Jake. Shout out to Solo. Shout out to Float Life. Shout out to uh, Pro Star Athletes. Shout out all my sponsors. Thank you guys. Shout out to all the fans. This wouldn't be possible without you guys.